Transmission media can be guided or unguided. An unguided medium, as the name suggests, is one where there is no physical connection between the source and the destination. That is, there is no cabling system that guides the signal. Wireless media are unguided. A guided medium is basically any medium consisting of a physical connection between the source and the destination points. That is, a cabling system guides the signal along a well-defined path. Wired media are guided. Let's expand our basic wired versus wireless or guided versus unguided classification and look at specific media that are examples of each kind. Broadly, wireline media are differentiated into copper wires, sometimes also called electrical media, and optical fibers. Two copper wire strands twisted around each other like a helix form what is called a twisted pair cable. Two metal conductors, an inner and an outer one, separated by an insulating material, form a coaxial cable. Waveguides are pipe-like metal structures meant for microwave signals. Optical fibers are classified into single and multi-mode fibers. Light travels along different paths in case of the relatively larger multimode fiber, whereas a really fine, small and precise single mode fiber allows light waves to travel only along a single mode. The terms large and small can be misleading here. Both multimode and single mode fibers have diameters measured in micrometers. Wireless media can be fixed or mobile, depending upon whether the subscriber can change serving stations during a session or call without loss of connectivity. Both fixed and mobile networks can consist of terrestrial media or satellites. We have already seen examples of wireless networks of various kinds. We have seen the various media used in telecom. Let's now look at them in the context of an actual telephone network. The terminal equipment boxes, typically multiplexers or demultiplexers, are often connected using one or more of the above transmission media. For short to medium distances, relatively lower bandwidths, tolerable losses and lower costs, coaxial cable is the medium of choice. We will look at the coaxial cable in some detail later. Optical fiber is the star wireline medium in telecom. It has extremely low losses, offers high bandwidths, is difficult to install and maintain, and is costly. Because of the low loss and high bandwidths, it is the medium of choice for large distances and critical high traffic links. Wherever the installation of cables is a problem, microwave links come to the rescue. But they require line of sight. That is, the two endpoints of the links have to have a clear, direct path for the signal to travel. This restricts their use to really short distances. Satellites communicate with Earth stations, providing a link between different parts of the globe. Most international calls and television signals are routed via satellite networks. Let's examine a few wireline media in detail, starting with the coaxial cable. As mentioned earlier, the coaxial cable consists of an inner conductor surrounded by some insulating material. The insulating material is sheathed by a copper mesh or aluminium sleeve which is finally covered by an outer jacket. The term cable TV comes from the use of coaxial cables that terminate at user television sets. Coaxial cables offer low to medium bandwidths. The biggest limitation with coaxial cables is that they are lossy. The signal power decreases greatly with distance, which makes them unsuitable for use beyond a few kilometers at the most. Twisted pair cables come in two varieties, unshielded and shielded. An unshielded twisted pair cable 
simply consists of two copper cables twisted around each other with a plastic jacket. The twisting of the cables reduces electromagnetic interference, also called crosstalk, from external sources. Shielded twisted pair cables have a metallic shield that further protects the cable from electromagnetic interference. We have already seen an example of twisted pair cables. Recall that they are the ones that connect landline phones to the exchange. Ethernet cable is another popular example of a twisted pair cable.